We're going to use our TI-84 plus calculator to do the chi-square goodness of fit test. Not all calculators will have this test attached. Sometimes you can add a special program to get your calculator to do the chi-square goodness of fit. This calculator has come already with the chi-square goodness of fit test installed for us. We're going to use data from keymacros.com. Here we have a die that's tossed several times and we have the observed values and the expected values and we're going to run the goodness of fit test to see if our observed values are roughly in line with what we would expect. In order to do the goodness of fit test we put the data into the list. So let's first enter data into the list, stat, and then edit. So we just enter to edit and we want to enter our observed values into L1 and our expected values into L2. 10 enter, 25 enter, and so on. And then we'll scroll to the right to enter L2. Once we have our data entered into the calculator, we'll then run the chi-square goodness of fit test. So we'll press stat and scroll to the right to get to test. And we could scroll all the way down to get to the chi-square goodness of fit test. It will be option D when we do get down there, if we have the option. Now many of you won't actually have this option listed, and if you don't, then you'll need to install a special calculator program and run this program differently than what I'm showing here. But if you are fortunate enough to have this program, you would go hit option D, chi-squared GOF test, goodness of fit. By default, our observed values are in L1, and that's where we put them, and our expected values are in L2, and that's where we put them. It gives us a degree of freedom of 5, and since we had 6 values, that is, in fact, N minus 1 for our case, and that's what we want, so we will highlight Calculate and press Enter. Here we have a chi-squared value of 27.5 and a p-value of 4.56, if we round, times 10 to the negative 6, which is very, very small. And so that means we are, in fact, going to reject the null hypothesis here.